So last night I um rewatched Event Avengers Endgame. And um I was actually extremely surprised cuz with that style of what I'm, what I'm going to call the grand finale format of movie usually I really do not I find them not very rewatchable at all or to sometimes mainly with Return of the Kings th third Lord of the Rings movie not even watchable for the first time because you know they're usually just a big battle this is one I was very worried about with Avengers Endgame. Um, but it still, it was pretty bad rewatching it, in my opinion. But not as bad as I thought. Um, the time, the time heist, like the first two acts don't go together at all, I find. I found it super bleh and bland, but the third act was still literally amazing, even though I kind of knew what happened. Um, so yeah, but this is less just specifically about Avengers Endgame, but more of this, what I'm calling the grand finale format. Um, which I'm not a big fan of, like, I feel like these, you know, have these big franchises um, where I'm probably the movies that I'm going to talk about most is Avengers Endgame and Deathly Hallows Part 2. Um, you know, you got Harry Potter and the MCU, these really, really giant um, franchises, and you know what, they want, we, us fans want to keep them in good hands and make sure that the movies are at, continue being good quality. Um, uh, so, then they make this grand finale, use the grand, the grand finale format, um, which, you know, they'll usually have one movie will end on an extremely giant cliffhanger, whether it's Thanos snapping his fingers, or Harry Ron Hermione being stranded out in the middle of nowhere, still having a bunch of, um, of Horcruxes to find while Voldemort start, is wreaking havoc on the school, and you know what? Uh, I don't, re I'm really against that kind of format. I feel like a movie should be its own thing. So when, like, yes, I know, like, sequels, I'm fine, S sequels can be done properly, but, like, you know, you gotta have its own story still, you know? But, which is great with m multiple sequels, but especially what, um, the original Star Wars trilogy, I feel like that is, those sequels, episode 6 is my favorite Star Wars movie, um, and episode 5 is probably my second favorite, you know what, they're just really good, so, um, I'm happy that they didn't have this giant cliffhanger where kind of in episode, at the end of episodes 4 and 5, you know, what we're left with is, they just still gotta defeat the bad guys. It's kind of a cliffhanger, but not too much, really. Um, but, I, like, uh, so, I, you know, I'm, it's weird, I feel, I'm pretty sure on Rotten Tomatoes, the eighth Harry Potter film is the one with the highest score, which I find very weird. Definitely not the lowest, I'd give that one to the Goblet of Fire, and that's probably just because the book is so much better and had and you had so much hype. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Um, but I find that very weird. People like get extremely hyped up for these grand finale formats, and only to have the movie be pretty bland ninety percent of the time. Uh, like probably the worst I've seen is, like I said earlier, Return of the King. For just such, okay, you know, we this what what we're talking about here is Lord of the Rings. Like everyone knows what Lord of the Rings is. You know, the first movie is phenomenal. The second movie still pretty good, but then that third one, then Turn of the King hits, and just earlier this year, I tried to. Re I had well. I first saw the Lord of the Rings movie when I was like seven. Haven't seen them since. But then just earlier this year, I started rewatching them, and I was like, "Whoa, Return of the King! What a great flick!" 
Um, then we have, um, Two Towers, which I really love the setup to the finale. And then, yeah, <laughs> Turn of the King, where I was just like, Bleh! it's just the pacing, especially, you know, I was extremely worried with Endgame, because once they were announced it was going to be a three-hour movie, I was like, Oh, God, this is, oh, no, it's going to be the worst. It's like, no, it could probably not worse. But, like, that three hour makes the, usually, because one thing that's okay with the eighth Harry Potter movie is, I'm guessing it's a two-hour movie. I actually don't fully know. But with Turn of the King and Endgame, you know, they're both three-hour movies and makes it extremely unwatchable because, like, it's one thing, you know, you lose two hours, actually, I feel like is a pretty average time for a movie. But that three hours makes it, the pacing, I feel like, go all off, and um, especially with these grand finales. Because we had the rising, the expedition, the rising action leading to the low point in the previous film. And now this film is just the climax. And uh, it just, I don't like the style. Um... It just doesn't resonate with me well. So, yeah. That's too much I, uh, um, a bit I have to say with this topic. I know lots of people are probably not going to like my opinion. Because, you know, no one, if you're not allowed to have an opinion in this world without people getting mad at you. So I know people are going to get mad at me. Just please keep it calm. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's all I really got to say. I'm just trying to get this. There we go. I think that's symmetrical now. That's what I've been trying to do this whole time while talking. Um, and uh, I just think it's so great knowing that, like, um, something I'm extremely worried about for what I feel like may be the next grand finale film is Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of the Skywalk, which, oh man, I am excited for, and dreading December at the exact same time, because, um, well, even though Last Jedi didn't have that much of a cliffhanger, it was just, we still have to defeat the villain, you know, the war's not over yet. It, how do I say, it? it's still very, hmm, I'm thinking of a good way to say this, but my mind's coming to a blank, still large potential of it being a grand finale movie, uh, and oof, I really don't want it to be, because, as I said in my previous video, I actually, uh, I feel like, the Last Jedi was pretty good. Um, it was definitely better than The Force Awakens, which I feel like was only like this much below it, though. They're both, I feel, really actually pretty good, and I always disagree with the height. <laughs> but, so now, um, but then we have this movie that, but what sounds promising, I feel like the other two movies had multiple trailers by this point in time. When I'm pretty 90% sure at the current time, Rise of the Skywalker only has one. So they're keeping it very secretive. So if it does have much big twists and stuff, at least they're not spoiling it in the trailers. The trailer's doing really good. I have literally no clue about what's going to happen. Anyways, that's probably all I got I'm about this topic. <sighs> Leave your opinions down below, you know. I feel like it could be very interesting discovering how different people have a different opinion than me. Um, so, yeah.